check all that apply. What kind of stuff do you think that you can make in Google Drawings? Well, you can make logos for starters. Let me just show you an example here of some logos that were made by last year's students. Okay, so you can add all kinds of things to your graphics here. This is called word art, whenever you see the word or the letters and some effects to them. Then you can add your copyright, which is your signature watermark. Just it's like a little trademark showing that you made it. Love this one because it's nice and small here, but it's there just enough to be seen. You can also add other graphics and do drop shadows and borders and do borders to your word art. You'll learn how to do all that stuff. You can create pictures from shapes, which I don't have any examples to show you here. You can do uh, web banners for social sites, like you can make a, a YouTube banner, you can make a Twitter banner, Instagram, you name it. Wallpapers, let me just show you some examples here. Again, all from last year's students. Wallpapers, okay. All of this was made in Google Drawings. And then you can also do posters and flyers. There's really a lot more that you can make in Google Drawings. These were just a few examples. Okay, when you are finished with a Google Drawing, you need to download your work as a picture file. Which of the following is a picture file? There is only one correct answer here, and that would be PNG. PDF is a type of file, but that is not a picture file. It's like a document file with um, text boxes. It's kind of like a Word file, but PNG that is a picture format that you will be dealing with all the time. If you notice these all here, those are all PNG files. Those were all created in Google Drawings. Okay, any idea which picture format keeps backgrounds transparent if there is no background? Again, there's only one right answer here, and that would be PNG. If you ever do a Google image search for something and say you want there to be no background, if you add PNG transparent to your search, it will probably pull up a background or an image that has absolutely no background. If you save something as a JPEG, and again, that is a type of file format, then you will have some kind of background, whether it's a solid white color or black or, you know, whatever the background color is. But PNG is the only kind that you'll be working with in Google Drawings that allows for a transparent background. Okay, so let me just start intro to editing with two very basic concepts here. We have JPEGs and we have PNGs. Those are both image file types. Let me show you what the difference is here. So you're looking at the Falcon logo. The Falcon logo is on this checkerboard background. So because it's on a checkerboard background, that checkerboard means that there really is no background there. That's how you know that this Falcon logo is a PNG. Let me show you how to get to that. So what you would do in Google Drawings is you would go to Image and then Drive. And then you would click on Shared Drives and then Digital Media. Now, if yours looks a little bit different, you can change what it looks like. The little squares, the grid, changes it to a little preview view. Now, you would go into Pics or Pictures, and when you click that, we have different uh, folders here. Now, if you click on List View, you're going to be able to see the full name. It kind of helps in knowing what you're dealing with. So, I'm going to jump into Falcon Logo. Now, when I go into Falcon logo, I'm going to see there's little previews here. If I go back to grid, it'll show a little bit better of a preview. Now, if you see a checkerboard, you know that it is transparent. This one here is not transparent. But this one is, and this is, I believe, the nice high quality file. Let's see, the 2021 vector art file. Okay, this is the one I just updated this year to make it a little bit higher quality for you guys. So I'm going to double click it. That's the same one that you were looking at before. Now, if I wanted this to stay as a PNG background or a PNG no background image, I would go to File, Download, PNG. Now, if I want to give this a background, okay, what I would do is two finger tap on the checkerboard, go to background. I'm going to give it a gradient background, like let's say this nice gray. Okay, so now that is on a background. Now, I could save it as a PNG or a JPEG, okay? But because I have a background there, it's not going to make it a transparent background anymore. Let me just take that off and show you the difference now. 
if I make that, uh, let's see, no background, transparent. There we go. Okay. Now, let's say I take this checkerboard, this transparent background, and I go to File, Download, and I make that a JPEG. Let's go look at what that JPEG actually looks like now. Here's the JPEG. Here's the PNG. So the PNG has no background. Let's look at the JPEG. Notice now the JPEG has a white background. And if you notice, it's kind of lost some quality too. It's a lot more pixelated and just looks a lot rougher whenever you zoom in. The PNG, not so bad. I mean, sure, it's going to be pixelated because it's still an image, but it's definitely not as bad quality. That's why I actually prefer you guys when you're working with pictures and Google drawings to always download them as PNGs just because it gives us higher quality. Now, we're not working with PDF because that's really not a common image file format that has to do with documents and words and pictures combined, but we're going to be working with PNGs moving forward until I tell you guys otherwise.